And oh, please give a big hand to Bela. Yeah, uh, welcome to my lightning talk, Polarify Syntactic Sugar for your conditional Polax expressions. First off, who has actually heard about uh, Polars? Okay, quite some few. Uh, so consider this, this uh, Pandas example on the left here, which is just some standard Pandas code where we want to find our top paying customers. So uh, top paying customers being customers who paid more than 500 euros in total over their whole contract duration and would do so by first figuring out like the daily rate they paid, uh, then how long they actually uh, were our customers. So we figure out the number of days that their contract ran and then just filter it. The equivalent Polars code would look something like this, with the main difference being that instead of uh, how Pandas computes this, uh, like uh, doing the computation step by step and uh, computing all the intermediate results, so the number of days you were a customer and the total price and then only filtering, we first build up uh, a symbolic expression which can then be evaluated upon your data frame. So uh, here we, we craft up this expression, which is not actually directly computing anything. And then we can call this filter function on the data frame and filter out all rows where this is being larger than 500. Um, so this was great. We can also do, um, this, this saves a lot of um, uh, intermediate, uh, storing of intermediate results. So this res uh, results in a great speed up. And we can also do uh, conditional expressions. So consider we have some column X which is just a number, and we want to find the signum uh, function of, of this number. So um, the equivalent Polars code was, would uh, look something like this, where we would use this uh, Polars when, then, otherwise chain. And as you can see, the condition goes in here. And if it's, this is true, it should return one. And if it's not the case, it will do a nested statement like this. But uh, you can also kind of see the problem here where it becomes quite a, a bit uh, hard to read and write, uh, especially if nesting comes into uh, play. And this is where Polarify comes into the picture. Instead of having to uh, write this function on the left manually, you can just add a function decorator to your signum function, and Polarify will then convert the uh, AST of your function into a Polars expression. So consider we have some, some expression to get our number uh, x here. We can just pass it into the signum function and get out a new expression, which will be the signum uh, function, uh, value of your, of your, of your uh, expression, essentially. So let's take a quick look at how Polarify does this. Um, Polarify um, goes through your function a, uh, body uh, a, a statement by statement and keeps track of all the assignments you have made along the way and what conditions uh, it has encountered. So we start off with this first statement with S being just assigned zero. And then we go on to the first uh, condition statement. So um, we, we note down that if X has been larger than zero, S will be assigned to one. And if it's not the case, um, S will still remain at zero. We then reach this second uh, conditional block, uh, elif. Remember, elif is just syntactic sugar for a if block inside the else clause. So we replace this uh, uh, s being equal to zero statement down here with another conditional block. Um, and now the condition is if x is being smaller than zero, s will be assigned to minus one. And if not, uh, s will still remain at zero. We then reach this uh, return statement. And uh, now we need to figure out what s final value uh, will be in each branch. So we basically just inline S with the final value. We can look it up in the assignment uh, we have kept, uh, have been keeping track of, and uh, then have uh, built up this, this graph, which uh, notes down what each branch should return. Now Polarify only needs to translate this into a final Polars expression. Um, so this is pretty straightforward. We, uh, we copy this, this condition here inside uh, as the argument for this when function call. The left side goes in the, as the argument for this dent function call, and the uh, right side will be the otherwise call. We do this recursively and get out uh, the final uh, expression, and then Polarify will just uh, replace the function body with the Polars expression, so you can use it throughout your code base. Um, so this was a super quick look at how Polarify works. If you want to check it out in detail, uh, feel, please feel free to do so at uh, our GitHub repository. Uh, you can find Polarify on PyPy and Conor Forge. And thanks for your attention. Ooh.